Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to find the spotlight pictures you have on your lock screen of your Windows 10 computer. So you see we have this really nice screen right here. And let's say we wanted to make that our desktop wallpaper or we wanted to copy and paste it somewhere. This tutorial will show you guys how to locate these files. And generally these files are changed multiple times a day so it can be very hard to keep up with. But let's say you wanted to keep one of them. So all we have to do is just get into our Windows operating system here to begin. So like I said, I'm just going to get into my normal computer. And now I'm going to open up the start menu. And you want to type in folder options. Best man should say file explorer options. You want to left click to open that up. And now you want to left click on the view tab. And underneath where it says hidden files and folders, you want to select show hidden files, folders, and drives. And then click on apply and OK. Once you've done that, now we want to head over to the start menu again. Type in File Explorer. Should be a desktop app, so you just want to open that up. Now on the left side, you want to go underneath this PC, so left click on that. And now wherever your local disk is, most people are going to be the C drive, maybe the D or E drive, but it should have local disk and a picture of the little Windows icon right above the hard disk. You want to open that up. And now you want to go underneath Users. So double click on the Users folder. And now whatever your user account is, you want to double click on that name. There shouldn't be too many listed there. It should be pretty straightforward to be honest with you guys. So double click on that. And now you want to double click on the App Data folder. Now go underneath Local, double click on that. Then Packages, so double click Packages. And now you want to look for something that says Microsoft.Windows.Content Delivery Manager. So we're going to have to scroll down a little bit, not too far. There's not actually too many folders in here anyway, but it should say Microsoft.Windows.Content Delivery Manager underscore CW5N and yada yada. Basically you see the one that I have right here. And you want to double click on that. And now you want to double click on the local state folder right here. And now you want to double click on the assets folder at the top. So I would recommend adjusting the view to size up here. And most of the ones that are larger, like these ones up here, are more than likely going to be your lock screen ones that are recent. And you're going to have to copy them somewhere. So we're going to just highlight over all of them, or at least the newer ones, so just left click on your mouse left clicker and drag over the ones, let's just say are above 100 kilobytes here. I'm going to right click on them, left click on copy. Now if you closed out of here, let's say you wanted to put them into your pictures folder, which is fine. So save pictures, and let's say, go back to pictures and save pictures, doesn't really matter where you put them necessarily, but we just want to organize them somewhere. So I just right clicked and pasted them into this folder. And then once you've done that, now we have to make it into a readable format file. So we're going to have to rename the files here. And we're going to have to add the suffix .jpg on the end. So if you right click on the files and then left click on the rename button, at the way end you want to left click at the end of whatever this number or letter is and type in .jpg, again jpg, then hit enter. And then if you double clicked on it and then selected photos, and then click on OK. There you go guys, you can see we have the picture listed right here. But definitely a cool little feature to know about. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. And I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.